Welcome to this sheet metal training module where today we'll look at how to convert a solid body into a sheet metal body. What you're looking at are a number of components on a board surrounded by surfaces. All the surfaces represent keep out areas where the sheet metal body has to be smaller uh, than those. So what I'll first do is use one of the surfaces that represents the extents and pull on it to create a solid body. And so this will be the basis for my sheet metal structure. Now I want to pull on the top of it to make it a little bit bigger. The only requirement is that it sits below that cylindrical surface. And I want to get rid of this small surface here so I could either click fill right now or pull on it until it's completely gone. Last thing I need to do is make sure I have no material where this rectangular cutout is. So again, using the surface that represents the keep out zone, I can force the pull tool to make a cut and force it to go up to the back surface. Now I can't see that, so I'll query select by rolling up on the mouse wheel until that surface is present and selectable. Then I click on it and I've removed material away. Now it's time to turn this body into sheet metal. How that's done is we first need to shell this out into a thin body material. I click the bottom surface and say shell. At this point you can type in any value you want. I'm going to type in 39 thousandths, that's roughly one millimeter, and then click the green checkbox. And so this is going to be our sheet metal body, and we need to convert it to sheet metal. So I go to the sheet metal tab and say convert, and click on the solid body. Every candidate for a bend and rip shows up in red. Right now my junction type is set to a bend, so any location I select, any red junction, turns into a bend. And so I could keep clicking all the way through. And I think, I think maybe I want a couple more bends on here. But I mostly want, I want rips elsewhere. So instead of changing the junction type to no overlap and selecting the rest of these, you can do them all at once. Click the select button to get out of uh, that mode triple click on the solid which does the same thing as selecting the solid from the structure tree with that selected you want to go to the selection tool the selection tab and grab every hard sheet metal edge and you see down below I've got 10 of those now selected with those selected I could designate the junction to be a no overlap now those all turn into ripped corners. So going back to the structure tree, I see that I've got one solid body. So it looks like I've got everything on one body and when it unfolds, hopefully it unfolds correctly. So to unfold this, I'll select any planar face and click the unfold button. And there's the envelope dimensions of the unfolded body. Now if I wanted to try out different unfold scenarios, meaning I could take any of these junctions and convert them from a rip to a bend and vice versa. So in the select tool, I'll go grab a junction, just select it, and turn this into a no overlapped or rip junction. Now when I do that, you see I've got two solid bodies in the structure tree. This one has no bends associated to it. So I could take maybe that junction, turn that into a bend if I wanted to. Now I'm back to one solid body because it's all joined together. And let's see what this looks like in the unfolded state. I'll click a planar surface and say unfold. Now you see that I've got a, a br uh, in bright red a big overlap between those uh, two flanges. So that's not going to work. So I'll just close out the document or that flat pattern and grab maybe this back. I can't see that junction, so I need to use Query Select and roll up on the mouse a few times until the purple becomes selectable. Now I can select it and turn the top one back into a ripped junction. Now I should be able to unfold this without any problems. Click the planar, click any planar face, and say unfold. Now you see there's nothing showing up in bright red. So just to recap, I've shown you how you can take uh, an existing design with components and restrictions on it, turn this, turn it into a solid body for the purposes of then making a sheet metal enclosure. Thank you very much for watching.